from the formula of A or B, from the formula page, it will be probability of A plus probability of B minus U0. So A or B is 0, 0,52. Our A is 0, 0,4 plus now the B, which we need. So when you subtract that, I'm going to get 0, 0,1. This was 0, 0,4, yes, not 0, 0,4. Okay, let me just double check and be sure. So probability of B is 0, 0,52 minus 0, 0,4. This gives me 0, 0,12. I hope so, guys. Eh? 0, 0,12. Okay, let's take that as our answer. Then um, 11.2, they're telling us that the items that I learn about at a tax shop were recorded over a period of time. Probability that Lana buy sandwich S, chocolate C, and juice J, as shown in the Venn diagram. What's the probability that Lana would buy a sandwich? So for sandwich, we just have to add this. You can buy sandwich only or sandwich and something. And so that's going to be 0, 0,09 plus 0, 0,02 plus 0, 0,01 plus 0, 0,04. In other words, the circle of the sandwich, the Venn diagram of the sandwich. That is what we are interested in. So if you put that into your calculator, you get 0, 0,16. That's what I got. Okay, that's what I need. Then uh, calculate probably that learner will buy at least two of the three. Now, when they say at least, they simply telling us that the minimum is two. So the maximum can even be three. So the point of interest will be this three, this two, this two, and then that. So which means 11.2.2, um, we're going to have 0, 0.02 plus 0, 0.01 plus 0, 0.03 plus 0, 0.04. Okay, when you add that up, I'm ending up with a 0, 0.1. 0, 0.01, 0, 0.03. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.04. I will. Where am I getting one more? Let me just do that again. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.04. How many I can say? They are four. Getting 0 0.1. Perfect. Okay. Then now uh, 11.2.3. I probability that the learner would not buy any of the three items n of the three so which means they want us to look for what is left outside here so you need to add up everything inside but now since we already have these ones the ones that we just got as 0 comma one oh we can just look at just the sandwich which is 0 comma one six and then we add this you add that and then add that and then you subtract from one okay so i'm gonna say one minus the probability of everything, which is uh, 0, 0,16 plus the 0, 0,04 plus the 0, 0,03 plus the 0, 0,2. I hope that would make sense. 0, 0,16 plus 0, 0,04 plus 0, 0,03 plus 0, 0,2, which is 0, 0,43. Okay, let me subtract that. I'm going to end up with 0, 0,57 as my answer. Okay, that is question 11.2.3. Then 11.3 itself, they are telling us that we have seven guitar players, each with a different name. They participate in a concert. In how many ways can the names of the guitar be listed one below the other in the program? So since there are seven, then we're going to have 7 factorial, which is 5040. 11.2.3. I'm telling us that after the performance, the guitar players wait backstage. There's a bench with only room for four people to sit on. What would be the probability that the four players will be sitting in alphabetical order from left to right? Okay, so besides the alphabetical order, let's just look at... Um, How many of the possible ways? Okay. 
So we shall have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Okay, seven ways to choose the players who will be seated of the four players. That will be like 840. And then for them to sit in alphabetical order, which means it's a one-way thing, then I'm going to divide this 840 divided by 5040, which gives me 1 over 6. Then during a performance, seven players sit in a line on a stage. Four guitar players are female and three are male. So female, three male. And how many ways can they be seated if the males may not sit next to each other? So for that to happen, that we don't have any males sitting next to each other, the first person must be female. The last person must be a female because we have an extra female. So this is going to be male, female, male, female, and then male. So since we have four, we have four to choose from. With the males, it's three to choose from. It's going to be three to choose from. It's going to be two to choose from. It's going to be two to choose from. One, and then one. What this means is that four factorial times three factorial. Okay which gives me 144 ways. Okay, guys, so that is what was meant to be done within this paper. All the best in your paper too, but remember, this is just...